This week's fugitive took a plea deal, and then he took off. So we're putting you on the lookout for this 34-year-old Syracuse man who's been busted many times before. Corey Dandridge was set to be sentenced to state prison at the end of last year on a drug possession charge. However, however, on the date that he was supposed to come in, he didn't show up. Not the first time he's been a no-show in court. Not the first time the 34-year-old's been arrested. It's more like 31 times for burglary, robbery, fleeing the police. You name it, he's been arrested for just about everything other than murder. Dandridge's family members all live in the Syracuse area. Well, the reason we put him on Channel 9 is because we're asking for the public's help because we've attempted to go look for him um, and we're not having a ton of success. Success often happens after your tip, so here's what we know. Dandridge was last known to be living here at the Motel 6 on Carrier Circle, so be on the lookout for him here. He's also been known to frequent 707 Grant Boulevard. He was here on New Year's Eve, the same night Syracuse police shot and injured a man who held a hatchet above his head and advanced at officers. Dandritz also goes by the name Mega. The name Mega um, in, the, in the drug world, uh, everybody knows who he is. Now detectives just need to know where he is. Corey Dandridge is six feet tall, 190 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. Let's give you that tip line number again. It's the Sheriff's Warrant Squad. 315-435-3032. If you need to see his picture again, we have it posted at onthelookout.net.